Can Heat bassist Larry Taylor has died. He was 77. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. He was in the classic version of Canned Heat, joining two years after the band was formed. He joined in 1967. A group spokesman confirmed that he had died August 19th on Monday at his home in California after battling cancer for 12 years. Taylor was right there on their very first album from 67, their self-titled album, which was basically filled with blues covers. He would be on their next four. Their sophomore project, Boogie with Canned Heat, was their highest peaking album at number 16 on Billboard and number five in the UK. The LP contained their very first hit, On the Road Again, which peaked at number 16 in the US and number eight in the UK. Album number three, Living the Blues, had their biggest US hit going up the country. That one peaked at number 11. Those two songs, interestingly, were actually sung by Alan Wilson, the other singer in the band. Their original lead singer, Bob Height, would go on to sing their biggest UK hit, the number two tune, Let's Work Together. Taylor was in the fold when they played the Monterey Pop Festival, alongside bands like The Who, The Grateful Dead, Big Brother and The Holding Company with, of course, Janis Joplin, Otis Redding, Drip, that was in 1967. All the guys in Canned Heat, interestingly, had a nickname for themselves during the classic years. Singer-guitarist Alan Wilson was Blind Al. He died in 1970 from an accidental overdose. Singer Bob Height was The Bear. He died in 1981 with the same cause of death. Henry Veston was The Sunflower. He passed from heart and respiratory failure in a Paris hospital October 20th, 1997. Harvey Mandel was nicknamed The Snake. He's 74. He left in 2014. The only member left in the current lineup from their heyday was Adolfo de la Parra. He was Fido. And then Larry Taylor was nicknamed The Mole. Larry Taylor was born in New York City, June 26, 1942. He was with the band when they performed, well, 50 years ago this past weekend at Woodstock in 1969. He was in and out of the band several times since first leaving in 1970. Taylor toured with Jerry Lee Lewis when he was only 18 years old. But if you look at his resume... Go on Wiki and just check out his resume and see, I mean, it's like this, how many people he's worked with. It's amazing. The guy had chops. He played on many, many Monkees albums, including On the Last Train to Clarksville and the theme to the Monkees, as well as several albums with John Mayle and Tom Waits. Can Heat were scheduled to play Woodstock, the ill-fated Woodstock 50 that didn't happen this past weekend. I doubt if he was scheduled to play with the band considering he died just a few days later. An incredibly immense, I can't say it enough, repertoire of music that he, he played with so many different musicians. But he'll always be remembered first for Canned Heat. May he rest in peace. I'm John Bowden. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, share our videos, and comment on them as well. This is Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.